This is what, where it all began. The square, which was my metro stop for many years when I attended the American University of Cairo. It became in 2011 the symbol of the Egyptian Revolution. I noticed that there was a lot of dust on the signs in Cairo. Cairo being the biggest city in Africa. Hosni Mubarak, after he resigned on January 25, 2011, became a piece of art on a wall in Cairo, along with his ex-minister of foreign affairs who ran for presidency after the revolution, Amr Musa, and the military leader, Ahmed Shafiq, who lost against the Muslim Brotherhood candidate, Mohamed Morsi, the latest in the series of Egyptian presidents. Since the military took over shortly after the revolution and was in charge of organizing and ensuring democratic elections, the people of Egypt made sure that the revolution continued through such slogans, down with the military. Not only is the slogan against the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, SCAF, it is against the 2011 Provisional Constitution of Egypt. This declaration was intended to act as a fundamental law of the country until elections. I had to smile when I walked by the pro Husni Mubarak popular propaganda that says, I apologize or forgive me, Mr. President. While the youth was taking over in Tahrir Square on January 11th, uh, in January 2011, those who never thought that Mubarak's rule would ever end apologized to him. The 6th of April youth movement started in 2008 in support of the workers of Al Mahalla. As I walked in the streets of Zamalek, out of Cairo's upper class neighborhoods, I noticed young girls mosaicing their university walls. When I asked them what they were doing, they answered our final master's thesis project. The topic of the revolution is put aside for the student who instead depicts traditional and artisanal scenes of Egyptian men in their galabiyas. I was struck by the colors of this mural, the tree change captured in this photo. While mosaicing um, with the new Egyptian um, resemble this wall, will secularist Islamist Coptic Christian men, women, children, their elders all coexist peacefully? While mosaicing unveiled Egyptian women's faces, an Egyptian veiled student stands out with her own colors of clothing. Let us not forget that the Egyptian women, veiled and unveiled, participated in this revolution. These two unveiled students take a break below their artwork, where glory is given to the ancients. Let us not forget that we are in the, an the land of the ancient Egyptians. This graffiti denounces the head of the Supreme Council of the Armed Forces, Scaf, General Tantawi, known in Egypt as Al Mushir. Below his face, the artist wrote, Al Mushir, ruler of illusions. He's not a very handsome man. Since the new government has so many martyrs that it has forgotten, the local artists decided to eternalize their faces on the walls of downtown Cairo. And you get to see no scaff. Let us not forget all the martyrs' mothers who have been left with no answer to their question, who killed my child? Who killed my son? Who killed my daughter? As most of the cases, were dismissed in civilian and military courts. And because we are in the land of the pharaohs, and despite the Islamists in power today attempting to dismiss ancient history, one artist combined Arabic writing and a scene of pharaonic life. Let us not forget that Egypt is also a land of the ancients and the modern. Youth this defiance of military rule continues in this image next to the Tahrir Maruru's names. This scene reminds us of ancient Egyptians' death ceremonies.
Glory to the Martyrs is a slogan found all over Cairo, especially since the government continues to add to the list of martyrs daily. Martyrdom was not a revolutionary affair, but continues under the so-called democratic new era. Good old Morsi. The names and faces of the martyrs continue to exist until today because the revolutionary Ruth Youth does not want Egypt to be forgotten. Martyr memory is hard to preserve, especially in the underground of Cairo. Dignity was the motivation of the January 25th revolution in Egypt, and although Egyptians have not been able to restore it after decades of dictatorship, they still aspire to do so. And finally, if you can't go to Egypt, know that McDonald can. Its yellow walls serve as the canvas for Kyrene artists who recommend that Tahrir Square is the solution. Thank you.